Hello guys, I am Nidhishri S. Bhagalwadi, your science teacher. So in the last session, we learned regarding the defects in vision and we learned regarding one of the defects that is myopia. So myopia is nothing but a short-sightedness which is caused due to the thin lens. Due to the thin lens means the lens is not becoming thin and due to the defect in the ciliary muscles as well as due to the large eyeball. If the eyeball is large also, the focal length or the image is not formed on the retina, it will form before the retina. Today we are going to discuss one more defect that is hypermetropia. One more defect, it is hypermetropia. So this hypermetropia is also called as long sightedness or far so far is a right word far sightedness so here it is exactly opposite to the myopia so in myopia what happens we are not able to see the far objects clearly here we cannot see nearer objects clearly we cannot see nearer objects nearer objects clearly so why we cannot see nearer objects clearly so what is the reason why so here in myopia we cannot see the far objects clearly because the image was not forming on the retina it was forming before the retina only here also what happens the same reason Image formation, image is not forming on retina. Here also, image is not forming on retina. Then where it is forming? The image is forming, it is forming behind the retina. It is forming behind the retina. So suppose... Let us take a eye. This is cornea. Okay. And let us take a eye. And this is a lens. Okay. This is a lens. And an object is placed near to the eye. So the light rays which are passing from the object. Okay. Which are passing from the object. They have to meet and meet at a point on the retina. But here the converging rays are not meeting on the retina. They are meeting at that is behind the retina. So this is a hypermetropia eye. This is a hypermetropia eye. So here the image formation is taking place behind the retina. This is a retina right? This is a retina right? So here instead of the formation of image on retina, the image is forming behind the retina. So, what might be the cause? The focal length is not decreasing here. The focal length is not decreasing. Means, we can say the lens is not becoming thick. If the lens becomes thick, the radius of curvature increases. If the radius of curvature increases, focal length decreases. If the focal length decreases, image is formed correctly on the retina. So here the reasons might be, what might be the reasons or we can say the causes. The reasons or causes might be, the first one is lens is not becoming thick. It is also due to, we can say it is also indirectly related to the functioning of the ciliary muscles. Okay, it is not becoming thick and curvature Curvature is not increasing. So if the curvature is not increasing, definitely focal length is not decreasing. That is F is not decreasing. That is why the image is forming beyond the retina. Right? There may be in one more cause that is a short eyeball. If eyeball is short, if complete eyeball is very short, then the light rays may form beyond the, the uh, may refract and meet at beyond the retina if eyeball is short. Okay. 
So short eyeball is also a cause for the hypermetropia and enlarged eyeball is also one of the cause for myopia. Enlarged means very bigger eyeball. If the eyeball is bigger, the image is not formed on the retina. It forms before the retina that is in myopia. In hypermetropia, the, might, the eyeball may, might be very short or we can say very small, small eyeball. Not short eyeball, I will rectify it is it as a small eyeball the image is not formed on the retina the image will be formed beyond the retina then how this hypermetropia can be corrected okay so for myopia we used concave lens so that the image is correctly formed on the retina for this we are going to use so let me draw an eye first if this is a eye and this is a retina and this is the lens. Okay. And this is a cornea. Okay. Suppose if we keep the convex lens. If we use the convex lens. Okay. And this is the object. In the spectacles of a person who has hypermetropia. The light rays which are incident on the convex lens. We know that. They will converge at a point. They will converge. Here they will not directly converge. We can say they are becoming nearer to one another. So when they are becoming nearer to one another at certain point after the refraction through this our eye lens. This is an artificial or the spectacle lens. This is the lens of our eye. Our original lens in our eye. So after refraction through the eyes these converged rays. These converged rays from the convex lens will become more converged. Will become more converged and meet at a point on the retina. Okay. So I hope you are understanding. When we use the convex lens, the rays will become converged. Will go on converging. They will not meet suddenly. So after refraction through the lens, our crystalline lens, they will converge. They will converge more at a point on the retina itself. Thus the image will be formed on the retina and hypermetropia can be corrected using the convex lens. So what you are using here the correction is correction is done by convex lens. So using convex lens what we are doing here we are decreasing the focal length. Focal length is decreasing. Focal length is decreasing. So this hypermetropia we will see in the old age people. You can see that your grandmother, your grandfather who has this condition, they will read the newspaper by keeping it far because they cannot see the objects which are nearer. They will read the newspaper by keeping it far away from their eyesight. Okay. So the hypermetropia can be corrected by the convex lens. So this, when you become perfect, you can write the differences between myopia and hypermetropia. So what might be the difference? Let us discuss the difference. So I will wrap this as of now. Okay, so here... Let us differentiate. It will be an important question. Uh, the myopia is this side. Always write the differentiate between questions like a column. Don't write one above the other. It is a good representation of writing differentiate between questions. So myopia and hypermetropia. If you remember one concept perfectly, you can write the other concept very easily. So the first one is, it is also called as short-sightedness. Short-sightedness, it is called far or long-sightedness. Long-sightedness. Right? Okay, this is the first point. The second point is, here a person cannot see cannot see 
far objects clearly cannot see far objects clearly right here a person cannot see near object here a person cannot see near object clearly right now uh, the reason might be the reason might be here the focal length is less okay here the focal length less than normal you should write the focal length is less than normal here the focal length is more than normal okay next here the image formed the image formed when we come to the image formation the image formed will be before retina or we can say in front of retina in front of retina okay in the myopia eye so in the hypermetropia eye image formation is beyond retina that is after retina okay then the last one is we have to come to the correction so the correction it can be corrected by fixing concave lens okay and this can be corrected by using convex lens okay so this is regarding the differences between the myopia and hypermetropia in the upcoming sessions we are going to discuss one more regarding one more defect which is commonly happen or which is commonly seen in the old age people where the old age people cannot see the far objects clearly as well as the nearer objects clearly you might observe in the old adults or the old age people that when you see their spectacles you can find certain differences like the certain marks above the spectacles and here below the spectacles so which kind of lenses they are they are using what is the problem they are facing what might be the causes so that all we are going to discuss in the upcoming coming session okay so until that take care of your eyes have a nice day